Sweet Jazz back again. Um, I'm going to be doing a video today on how I do my faux bob. Um, I actually have my hair, I'm letting my hair grow out. So this is where we're at right now. Um, it used to be really, really, really long. And at one point I brought it up really, really short. So in that process, I discovered that I really love short layers. And even though I'm going to be growing my hair out, I like to be able to play with it. So sometimes I want it to be natural like this. Sometimes I want it, I want to have that angled bob that I love. And sometimes I want it to be long, so I'll throw in some extensions. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my angled bob, or what I call my faux bob. Um, the things you're going to need is going to be a flat iron if your hair is curly. My hair is naturally curly, but right now it's a little bit straight, but I'm still going to need the flat iron to give me that really sleek look. Um, you're going to need some bobby pins, depending on how long your hair is, is how many bobby pins you'll need. You're going to need a comb and probably some hairspray if need, needed. Okay, so the other thing you're really going to need in order to do this is you're going to need your hair to be in some kind of layered style. So if you look here, I have really short layers. This is my, and they're actually growing out. They were even shorter than this, but if you see, this is where this one finishes off. So I have, and in the back, it's nice and short. So it gives me that, this effect here. It's all layered, okay? And in order to get this look, the way that I'm going to do it, you kind of need these layers. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to brush the hair. I like to brush it down the middle first. I don't wear it this way because it does not flatter my face to have my hair in the middle. But just for this, I'm going to show you. Um, so you're going to split your hair in the middle. And then you're only going to take literally the crown the top part of the hair. So I'm going to use my fingers and I'm going to trace just this top piece. You see? This is all that's going to be left out. All of this is down. Okay, and I'm going to put this piece away for a moment. Bobby pin. I'm just paying attention to the time here. Okay, now, once you put that away, it's going to look crazy for a moment, guys. Don't judge me. Okay, so we're going to put that away for a moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the rest of this hair and we're going to put it up. We're literally going to pin it. So we're going to slick this all back. As if we're going to do a ponytail. So you see how I'm holding that? Right like if I've gotten a ponytail. Okay. Now this is the part that might take a little bit of practice. I'm going to turn around hopefully you can see. So you're going to take the hair and you're going to twist it in and tuck. Okay. And once you have it there, you're going to take your bobby pin and just start pinning that. Okay. So that's one piece. And I'm going to need a few bobby pins because I have a lot of hair. And I'm just going to keep pinning this until it feels nice and secure to me. Okay, and if there's any on top, you want to go in and pin that down too. Okay. So 
tucking it in. And that's that. Now you're going to take this top piece out. And you're going to lay that down. Now when I lay it down, this is where I like to look at where I like to wear my hair. And see how already I'm getting the angle and that's because of the layers. Now for me, I usually split it to one side. Essentially, this is it. This is pretty much the whole look. See that? Now comes the flat iron. I'm just go in with my flat iron and take these pieces. And I want to make sure that these pieces are laying down. Take your comb. Always, <clears throat> always follow your flat iron with your comb to set that style. And then you want to take those ends and curve them in, okay, so that it cups like that, so that it gives me that nice angle. And you're just going to take the rest of the hair and do that all the way across. The flat iron and that comb. I have some product on my hair from the other day and this morning, so my hair is a little bit stiff. brushes right out so it's okay. Can you see what we're getting? Now I went from having long hair to having a really cute bob, but it's all in the cut. The way that I get my hair cut from my wonderful boss is he gives me lots of lots of layers stacked up top and he lets it angle towards the front so it gets it goes from long to short because he knows that I like those those layers because I like to be able to do this style but I'm not really able to cut my hair this short because I would get bored my husband tells me that he does not want me to cut my hair this short because then he knows he'll have to hear my mouth and he's right so we're just gonna do that for the rest of the hair all the way around, getting it nice and smooth. You know, you can obviously take smaller sections than this if your hair is not already straight and you need to go in and straighten it. And that's it. This is one of those styles that I tend to do when I really, you know, am tired of same old, same old look or if I want it to look cute but I'm running really short on time because as, as you can see, that took me all of seven minutes to do. And there you go. Now I have an angled bob. Or what I call my faux bob. See? Other side. Got a little piece that's sticking out there. cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was really quick. I just wanted to show everyone out there how I work with this hair and how many different things you can do if you're just creative and you play with your hair. Sit down guys in the mirror and just, you know, play with it. It's your hair. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching. God bless.